happy Thursday, friends. I'm just popping in for story time, and it's going to be a little bit of a shorter one today. Um, thought I would read a little bit of poetry to you. And truthfully, I was never really a big poetry person. It felt like it was too much to understand and try to figure out. And um, I just really like to read things sometimes that are straightforward and I don't have to do a lot of thinking about it, truthfully. Um, whether that's good or bad, I'm not really sure. But when I found, found Shel Silverstein, I, I felt differently about it. Uh, his poetry is funny and it's to the point and um, you don't really have to think a whole heck of a lot about it. You can just enjoy it and it's great for kids. This is probably my favorite book of his, uh, Where the Sidewalk Ends. So I'm just going to read you just two or three. It's going to be a really quick one. And then hopefully I'm going to get back outdoors and enjoy the sunshine. So uh, Where the Sidewalk Ends in Poems and Drawings by Shel Silverstein. This is the first one. I thought this would be really relatable. For sale. One sister for sale. One sister for sale. One crying and spying young sister for sale. I'm really not kidding, so who'll start the bidding? Do I hear a dollar, a nickel, a penny? Oh, isn't there, isn't there, isn't there any one kid who will buy this old sister for sale, this crying and spying young sister for sale? I have a feeling there might be a lot of kids right now who are feeling that way about their siblings after spending a lot of time together. Um, Okay, here's another one. This one's called Listen to the Mustn'ts. Listen to the mustn'ts, child. Listen to the don'ts. Listen to the shouldn'ts, the impossible, the won'ts. Listen to the never-haves. Then listen close to me. Anything can happen, child. Anything can be. I love that one. And here's kind of a cute one. It's called Sick. I cannot go to school today, said little Peggy Ann McKay. I have the measles and the mumps, a gash, a rash, and purple bumps. My mouth is wet, my throat is dry. I'm going blind in my right eye. My tonsils are as big as rocks. I've counted 16 chicken pox, and there's one more, that's 17. And don't you think my face looks green? My leg is cut, my eyes are blue. It might be instamatic flu. I cough and sneeze and gasp and choke. I'm sure that my left leg is broke. My hip hurts when I move my chin, my belly button's caving in. My back is wretched, my ankle's sprained. My appendix pains each time it rains. My nose is cold, my toes are numb. I have a sliver in my thumb. My neck is stiff, my voice is weak. I hardly whisper when I speak. My tongue is filled up my mouth. I think my hair is falling out. My elbow's bent, my spine ain't straight. My temperature is 108. My brain is shrunk, I cannot hear. There is a hole inside my ear. I have a hangnail and my heart is, what? What's that? What's that you say? You say today is Saturday? Goodbye. I'm going out to play. And this is the last one for today. This one is called Hug O War. I will not play at Tug O War. I'd rather play at Hug O War where everyone, everyone hugs instead of tugs, where everyone giggles and rolls on the rug, where everyone kisses and everyone grins and everyone cuddles and everyone wins. And that's a little bit of um, Shelvers, Shel Silverstein for today. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I'm planning to be back tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Bye-bye friends.